Want to make this mouth-watering, off-the-chain, authentic Latin dish? Then Aros con Pollo. It's going to satisfy, and it's all in one pan. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make uh, Aros con Pollo. How do you say it? Arroz con pollo. That's what we're making. Arroz con pollo. I can't say it. I really, I mean, my wife can do it a lot better than I can. It's got a lot of ingredients. Uh, honestly, you could buy this. Uh, it's, a lot of it's all mixed together in this one package under Saison. Goya and Badia make it. Uh, but there's a lot of spices in here. If you enjoy this, like and subscribe, and if you comment, if you like to do this a different way, and everybody does this a different way. I mean, I would probably cook this a different way if I did it again tomorrow. But if you do, if you have a different way, and like say something about it, go ahead and comment on it. I will absolutely respond to your comments. And I appreciate you for watching. So now we're gonna make the adobo marinade for the chicken. First thing is a uh, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to go to a quarter teaspoon for the cumin and a quarter teaspoon of the cayenne and then three quarters of a teaspoon. Anyhow, more, more paprika. Then we're going to mix this up, and I would say about two tablespoons of oil. Now we're ready to put the chicken in and make sure it's coated nicely. Of course, don't forget to wash your hands after this, like you're going to forget. You got all this stuff on you, but it mostly, it's mostly the chicken. You got to be careful with the chicken. All right, this is going to go in the fridge at least a half an hour. Okay. The anticipation. All right, here we go. I can hardly stand it. I, I understand. Okay, so while you've got your chicken marinating for again at least a half hour and covered uh, in the fridge, uh, go ahead and get your pepper ready. We had a little kitchen accident where uh, Miss Gaines Brooks tried to correct me again on arroz con pollo, and so I went ahead and dropped the uh, the knife on her foot, uh, and now she thinks that I can pronounce it correctly. As I understand, is that did I get that right? Um, I think that whole story was not correct. I think the whole thing was a lie, honestly, and, and that's all right. Except uh, for my nearly amputated pinky toe, but other yeah, than that, that's and that's of course is what they call hyperbole because you got your band-aid on. Good thing I know some podiatrists in town. Yeah, I know a few myself. We don't need all of this onion anyhow, so we can lose that first layer, and then we know we got a clean onion. And then turn it, and then cut it the same way. Okay, let's make my eyes water on out. All right. I'm gonna love you from afar. Okay. Is it, this is the murder weapon I'm, I'm using right now. Yes, I murdered my little, my little piggy toe. All right, so this is all ready to go. So we'll get the skins off the garlic. I've been I mean, shot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, there's something hidden there, going on here today. Just, I don't know what it is. Oh, <laughs> Clearly. Okay. While we're still waiting for the marinade to be done, we're going to go ahead and cut up some green onions. And we're going to have a little bit of this cilantro. And I'm going to make a decision on the the olives after we get it made. It's the murder weapon. It's the murder weapon. Kitchen. It's our new channel, Murder Weapon in the Kitchen. We actually marinated this chicken in the refrigerator uh, for 45 minutes using this one. But I want to use iron because I think iron, I just like iron skillets. Probably two tablespoons of olive oil. All right, our pan's getting nice and warm. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of butter in there just to help it brown. So we're ready to put chicken in, skin down. Make sure you get that butter all over there. Look at that. That's looking good. These are humongous thighs. Ah, oh, look at that. And it's soaked in nicely. If you look at this right in here, 
Look at that, that is totally soaked in. Because these are big thighs and we certainly want the chicken done. And it's only gonna cook another 20, probably a full 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, because we want to get all the water out and get the rice soft. Some people say that arroz campoya, how do you say it, did I get it right? I never, okay, her, whatever she said, she's got it, that it came from Spain in about the year 700 or the 8th century, but if you're from Puerto Rico, you say it came from there, and uh, nobody knows for sure. Uh, what's is interesting about it is that uh, the Puerto Rican version uses beer to cook this in. Uh, the Spanish does not. And in, in Spain, they use saffron, and in Puerto Rico, they use a thing called anato. It's in, anato is actually in the saison, if you buy that. But I'm using saffron, because number one, I like saffron. Now, this isn't fair to anato, or whatever, how to pronounce it, someone's gonna be saying, do comment on this. I mean, I'll take the criticism. And of course, and now if it's nasty, I'll take it down. No, I, if you, I'll take any criticism you have, because you know, that's how you learn to cook. Um, or at least pronounce what you cook. Uh, anyhow, so if you use that, I'd like to know why, and that's fine. Now, interestingly, chicken came to Puerto Rico by way of Asia, and chicken came to Spain by way of India. And they've made these dish, obviously, for hundreds of years. The sofrito is common, but of course the common ingredients are cumin, coriander, onion, tomatoes, those kinds of things. The only difference with paella, and, and by the way, I have, a, I have a video on paella, and it turned out really, really tasty. Um, I cook with paella, I normally, I don't even call this parboil, whatever you do, I pre-cook the rice, because I've always had a hard time getting the rice completely done in a pan like this. But we're gonna try. I am gonna add some red pepper to this, though, just because I want a little more color. This is dark, not from burning. This is dark from the marinade. I'm gonna cover this because I'm being beat up by the, by the spattering fat. So now I'm gonna cut the red pepper into strips. You could get pimentos in a jar, especially roasted ones. That would be nice. They're not meant to be done yet, but we're gonna take them out of the pan and then we're gonna dump off some of this oil. Got a nice start on them. I'm gonna dump off all but about a tablespoon of this oil. And we're getting ready to make the sofrito. This is gonna have all of the spices and everything else, except for the liquid. We're gonna put the rice in before the liquid in. We're gonna to toast the rice just a little bit. So a little bit of oil. We're gonna put our pepper and onion in. I'm gonna save the, the red pepper. And I'll put just a little bit of salt with this. And we're gonna cook this for three or four minutes, translucent on the onions. This part is called the sofrito. This is the part that's common to a lot of dishes in Mediterranean, Spanish, Latin America. This little stove cooks fantastic. I mean, it's great. I, mean, I wish they had these, they probably did, but I wish they had these when I camped out with my girls in Indian princesses. Well, I had a Coleman stove, and well, you had to pump it up. This has got these little canisters. This is much, yeah, no, I like this way better. This is so much easier to use. This is ready, it's time to start putting some stuff in here. Okay, so we got the quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, same on the onion powder. A little bit of oregano. No cayenne in this, okay, but def definitely gets cumin though. Okay. And we definitely get coriander. Again, quarter teaspoon's good. And if you look at that, it's now taking on the color of the spices and they're coming out. I am gonna put the garlic in here now. This out of there. We're gonna go ahead and toast this rice. This is basmati. People use different things. That's about a cup right there. Woo, almost more than a cup. And look at the colors already there. It's already got a little bit of a yellow color, but 
When we put this saffron in the chicken broth, we're gonna get a lot of color and a lot of taste, a lot of flavor. All right, we've been toasting this rice now for a couple of minutes. It's time to put in our wet ingredients. I put my three bay leaves in the chicken broth. So this is about a cup, a little more than a cup, and I'm gonna use it all because this rice is gonna have to cook down. It's about one cup of tomato sauce. And I was gonna put the saffron in the chicken broth that I forgot. So we're gonna do this. I'm using all of that. That's not a full container. I made something else the other day. But I wanna stir that around and get this saffron all over this. And that's gonna get, this rice is gonna turn yellow, or very close to it, a little bit of reddish yellow. If we need any more salt, we'll add that when we eat. Then I'm gonna go with the olives. Gotta have olives in this, for me. But we're gonna go ahead and put the cilantro, the parsley, and the onions in here. Put the chicken back in, skin side up. Just nestle it down in there. Gonna cover it up just like that. Perfect. Okay, this has been 25 minutes. I don't think it's gonna be done. I, it doesn't look done. But we're gonna taste it. We don't wanna burn it. I might have to add a little more liquid in there, but let's just try this. Mmm. Just a couple more minutes, and I'm not going to put any more juice in it. It's actually done. This is going to be fantastic. I'm going to put the uh, peas on it now, and the olives, and the red peppers. And these, of course, are not going to be completely cooked. Thawed out my peas a little bit. I'm going to dump the water out. And we're gonna put the olives in. Look at that, isn't that looking nice? Just a little water. So it's getting close. There we go. I just don't want the rice to burn, but it's, right now it's just about perfect. That chicken should be done. We're gonna let this cook for about another two, three minutes. Meanwhile, let's slice the lemons that look just like limes <laughs> and get the cilantro ready to garnish. Peppers have just started to wilt a little bit, which is just fine. Now, if you like them cooked, cook the peppers. It's just they keep, they, they keep their redness if they don't cook too much. See, they're almost orange now. Come look at this. Nothing's burnt. Our peas are done. Olives are looking good. Mmm. Oh, man, that tastes fantastic. Let's go ahead and get some of the rice. That rice is fluffy. Look at that, it is fluffy. And let's do this one right here. Put a few wine ledges, <laughs> a little cilantro. We cook this about 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes all together, um, and it's done. The rice is tender, it's done. I've already tasted just a little bit, but I'm gonna try it with some of the chicken. And give me a good bite of the Oh, I'm gonna have a little bit of lime on this though. Get a little bit of lime here. Mmm. Oh. That's got so many flavors. You can taste the turmeric, the cumin, the cilantro is good, the onions, the peppers. The chicken is perfectly, perfectly cooked. It's done. And the lime at the end is very good. I'm happy with this. You want to try a taste? Let's have you do that. Okay, team no olive. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's hey, really good. I'm going to try another bite with an olive. Just a little bit of olive. 
and some rice here. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, the olive makes all the difference. Even better. Mmm. That's perfect. Got the acid. Got everything. This is great. It's not that hard to make, really. It's easy to make. It's just getting keeping track of all the spices. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to Lawyer in the Kitchen, and I'll see you next time. Arroz, arroz. God, I cannot get this right. Hey, we're gonna make uh, arroz con pollo. How do you say it? We're gonna make uh, arroz con pollo. How do you say this? Arroz con pollo. That's what we're making. Arroz, arroz con pollo. Is that it? Is that close? Arroz con pollo. Arroz con pollo. Okay.